Hey friends, it's good to be back with you. Uh, I figure it's time to get an update on First Flight and uh, get you up to date on all the things that we're doing with this. Uh, we recently got back from Oshkosh, had a great time there. It was great seeing uh, a lot of our friends and customers and meeting a lot of new people. Uh, certainly great to see our friends from uh, the airplane factory in California. Unfortunately, the high wing didn't make it, so we didn't see our friends from, uh, from South Africa but uh, hopefully in, uh, at Sun and Fun next year, they'll be around. Um, right after we got back from Oshkosh, we got our fuselage and finishing kit, so we feel like we've got a, an airplane to build now. Um, we've had our, our wing and empennage kit for a little while, but uh, we're really now just starting to, uh, to dig into our first flight build here. So it's great to get going. You can see behind me the um, the guys are, uh, are working on our etching and alodyning of our large skins. And behind them is kind of a cool thing. It's neat to have a, uh, uh, a vintage de Havilland vampire jet uh, as a backdrop for this video. Um, that baby got left here after the air show that we had here at the Binghamton Airport a little over a month ago. Um, and the, uh, the, the guy who flies it hasn't been in to, uh, to pick it up yet, but it certainly gets lots of attention. Everybody that walks through here is like, wow, that's cool. And uh, so it's neat that we kind of position things here to use that as a, uh, as a backdrop. So um, you could see uh, the, uh, the flat tanks behind us here. Um, I know they look like they're made out of wood. They are lined with fiberglass uh, so they can hold the, uh, the chemicals and uh, the guys are going through and etching and alodyning. Uh, we put the, uh, the skins in the, uh, the, the mild acid uh, for a couple of minutes, then rinse them, and then they go in the, uh, the alodyne uh, to get that kind of bronzish look uh, that protects it from corrosion. It also really helps the paint stick. Then they get re-rinsed, and then they get hung up on uh, these racks over here uh, uh, behind us. Uh, we got a couple of fans blowing on them to help them dry off because it is a little humid out here today. Um, so you can kind of see the process. It's taken a while to get to this point. I'll show you our other tanks uh, a little later in this video, but uh, it's nice to kind of have that process behind us. Uh, and uh, now we can get, get utilizing this stuff and get going on uh, the actual build part of it, not the, 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 the corrosion treatment process. So, uh, so we're digging into all of this. Um, let's, uh, let's go over and take a look at what's going on in the, uh, the build room. I think this is the first of uh, any of the videos that we've taken inside of our new build rooms. Uh, so you can see it's, uh, I don't know, it's about 14 by 22 feet. It's not a huge room, but uh, it's great because uh, it's heated and air conditioned. And uh, you know, here I am, I got a sweater on because uh, it's cool in here. It's about 80 plus degrees outside and rainy and humid. Uh, we're in here kind of enjoying the, uh, the cool air conditioned air, so, uh, so it's pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> you can see up behind me, um, the, uh, the, the tail is up there. We've got most of that done other than a few little detail things. And uh, now Matt and I are working on the spars. And uh, let me tell you one of the neat things about the, these spars. Um, a few weeks ago, we had an air show here and the Thunderbirds were here. And it was really fun hosting them, having them here, um, getting to chat with them, and really getting a, an up-close view of their whole operation and uh, the jets themselves and everything, because uh, you know we had, we had one of those almost every night right out here in our hangar. 
and along with all the other air show acts. So it was really cool to be kind of front and center in the, uh, the whole thing. But I uh, had them sign the, uh, or autograph the, uh, the spar here. So I have uh, all of the, uh, the Thunderbirds here uh, in their autograph on the spar. So, you know, we're, uh, we're countersinking the spar. Um, it's an amazing piece of, uh, piece of art here, and uh, the countersinking is going good. Taking a couple of days of countersinking, We've got more countersinks coming so we can speed up the process, but um, uh, it's, uh, it's coming along and uh, we're getting it done. So to wrap up our video, I just wanted to show you the rest of our etching and alodining process. One of the difficulties with this is that there are several pieces that are really long or really, or fairly long, but fairly deep also. Um, for instance, the uh, trailing uh, spars for the wing are just under 12 feet long, and uh, they wouldn't take a lot of fluid, a real deep box to, uh, to do them, but we obviously need a very long box to, uh, to dip those things in. And then we have things like the fuel tanks, which are, I forget exactly, but somewhere in the neighborhood of, uh, of nine feet or a little under uh, long, but they're 16 inches or 15 inches deep. So you gotta have some depth in order to do it, but not real wide. So we built these wooden boxes and they're lined with fiberglass and um, they're working out really, really well. The problem with it is uh, um, when you've got 16 inches of fluid in those boxes, it's like 120 gallons. So it's a lot of fluid. So I'll show you a little close up of them. Um, they're pretty slick. We built these uh, displacement boxes is, is what we're calling them. It's kind of like throwing a brick in your toilet to save water. Um, and so when we need to do the smaller pieces, we put these uh, displacement uh, boxes in there and uh, then we only need about 90 gallons of fluid. So it works out pretty well. And when we do the, like the, the trailing spar for the wing or whatever, we only need a few inches of fluid to do those things, but we have the full 12 foot box to, uh, uh, to dip those things in. So uh, they give us some, some good flexibility. So, so far they're all working. Um, you can see over this shoulder here, we were able to do all the, um, the flaps and uh, um, ailerons. And uh, so the system's working out uh, pretty, pretty good. So um, certainly uh, appreciate it uh, that you're watching this video, especially all the way to the end here. Um, please like and subscribe. It certainly helps, uh, helps us out. And uh, stay tuned for the next update of First Flight here at Custom Aircraft Builders.